How's it going out there? This is DJ Matt Winters here at 88.1 Weber FM. And as a special treat today, we have a band in the studio. Uh, it's a band called Deer in the Headlights. It's pretty scattered. Uh, it's five, mo- uh, five weeks total, and we'll do the whole western half of the U.S., um, including uh, South by Southwest. Be there for a few days. We did um, Noise Pop Festival in San Francisco, which happened last week, and then... Uh, We'll finish out and do a leg uh, with as tall as lines out in Florida and finish in Atlanta and drive all the way home to Arizona. It's cool to take bands from home. Yeah, we just finished a uh, last date with a band called Kinch uh, that did the first week with us that are really cool. They're also from Arizona, so they're no longer on the tour. And uh, we're uh, going to play with Rubens and Miniature, I think, for the duration. Well, until South by, anyway. It was a pretty modest experience because we were we were just such a new band. I remember one one show, Ian and I played an acoustic set, and the only person watching was Mark. <laughs> Out of the, and like people were walking by, and it was it was interesting. But I think this year will be a lot better. We have an official showcase, and there's an an I Love Arizona party, which has Ruben's Accomplice, Kinch, Miniature Tigers, a band called What Laura Says, and I think a band called The Stiletto Formal, and we're playing it. We give each other our space. Like you, you can tell if someone doesn't want to be talked to, and we've gotten to the point where there's there's no hard feelings. If it's just like, leave me alone. <laughs> it's, you're not gonna be like, oh, wonder if they're mad at me. Yeah. Like it's we're just friends, and we understand that we're in a eight by fifteen foot space, and five people living there it does tend to get a bit annoying. Yeah, so. if somebody has a meltdown, it's totally acceptable. Yeah, yeah it's just like, just leave him, leave him alone. He'll bury his head in the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> it'll all brush over in a couple hours after a nap. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of sitting around for a few months. Yeah, I, I can't say I did much of anything. These guys over here probably have some more uh, <laughs> enjoyable stories about time off. <laughs> Nature hikes. Yeah, uh, I've started uh, hiking a lot and going on bike rides and really, <laughs> really enjoying the, uh, the Arizona desert winter and um, spending a lot of time cleaning up after my roommates and, <laughs> and washing the smelly dog that I live with. I think we all probably do. Pop it in and mm-hmm. listen Sometimes to we it. Sometimes we listen to it together. Also. Really? And overanalyze the heck out. I think it's just to see if it still sounds good to us, you know? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's more just mechanical reasons, mm-hmm. I feel like, most of the time. just want to listen back and see if it's still legitimate. I think we're just trying to make the sounds that, that we like. I guess it's not... Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily our goal to to be up on that marquee so much as it is to just play the sounds that we want to hear. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think exciting for us would actually just to be have some longevity in, in this business because uh, I, I guess that's new and exciting because there's a lot of bands that are here, have one record, and that's it. Just follow your dreams so that you have an excuse to ignore everything else. It's just a good excuse to just fall on your dreams. You yeah, know, you just you, you if you just tell people that you're following your dreams... Everyone just says, all right, all right, <laughs> you know, they they're, back they're fine with it. You well, can't follow your dreams by sleeping. <laughs> follow your dreams and no one will question you, America. America. 